Okay. This is the St. James General Store. Probably one of the oldest stores on Long Island. This is the closest store to my house when I was growing up as a kid. All right. Let's see what we got inside. Hello. I'm in park in front of somebody, so if you need to go, just give me a shout. I'll move my car over here. Where are you? Right over here. By the black Toyota? Yeah, I guess so. That's all right, then. Okay. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I haven't been here in 50 years. Oh, you're okay? Yep. Yeah. What do you have there? It's my GoPro. What is that? Go. It's uh, your GoPro camera. Oh yeah, a little video. Oh, say hi. Hi, say, say, say hi to uh, the Cabral family from Nisiquot. Hi to the Cabral family from Nisiquot. We're here at the St. James General Store on Long Island, New York. All right, thanks so much. Yeah, this is a great place to come and get candy when I was a kid. Still here. I lived right down the road here. I think I gotta call my sister. I can ask her what she wants from the general store. Oh, okay. She was here a few years ago. Is that is that Smith? Oh, I gotta get one of these. Jet fire glider. Established 1857. You've been working here. Um, nice. Great spot, huh? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Okay. Do do your thing, girl. That's what I'm here for. Well, this is the St. James General Store. It was established in 1857 by that gentleman over there, Ebenezer Smith. Ebenezer Smith, who rode around the whole town of Smithtown on the back of the bull. No. That's the story. That's now. Richard Smith. Oh, that's Richard Smith. Okay. This is his relative. Oh, Ebenezer. okay. All right, Ebenezer. And okay. he actually, he went out to California to try to find some gold. He did well. He came back because his family is all here and he built the St. James General Store. 
Oh, and now he's at the Nice. Walk over here. Uh huh. Show you the desk he used to write out his bills. Mm hmm. This is a world top desk. He was the first postmaster general in the area. So mm -hmm. we have this to commemorate that. There's all the artifacts up there. We he we had the first first phone in the area. We had the first phone. Look at it. Look, is it like the bulb? Now these lights. Oh yeah, those, that's these, a door bulb. Yeah, these lamps were used to be kerosene, I think. Uh huh. And then they electrified. And they got they got converted. Yeah. Yeah. So this is all our candy. All on the upper shelves are the artifacts that you put good store of museum stacks. Things on this side and up on that side. Um, there's one interesting thing about the Postmaster General thing. Ebenezer Smith used to bring the people, their, their mail, out to them because they came on horseback or on a, uh, in a buggy or whatever. And as soon as he started to get busy, he couldn't do that anymore. So one young woman, very irate, on her pony, rode right into the store to get her mail. She would have this map. <laughs> There's the old pot belly stove over there. Uh, this was a nice box. Upstairs at certain times was a pharmacy. This is some of the items that were left here. Was there is there an upstairs or did they close yes, it off? The, it's open now. This one always cracks me up because it's a tonic that makes children fat as pigs. Oh. <laughs> ah, gross. Gross tonic. Okay, so we have some. This is the was used in the mailbox. Oh, that's the old, uh, the old post yeah, office. The there it is. Well, this, this was also part of the post office. Mm -hmm. uh, something that he's been, I don't know if you can put the camera on the here, but there's old grooves on the here. Okay. Right here. Mm -hmm. uh, the guys used to sit around and pot belly so like they have pipes with tobacco and mm -hmm. cigars, but they strike their matches underneath. Oh, uh, right, 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 right. Smith told them that he can't do that Steam iron. 